Here we are in the Pennsylvania making muskrat season, second check. Uh, and I wanted to film this. It's a beautiful sight right there. Nice big male mink. Uh, caught in my favorite trap for mink. Victor number two square jaw with a mink pan. And my favorite set, which is a stacked rock set. Top edge. Um, targeting the swimmers. Now, as you can see, I have some extra rocks there. Um, they're my adjuster rocks. When the water goes up and down, break rotor for a weight. And you can look right over there. I have a blind set and I've caught mink there already. It looks like the perfect spot, but I've seen in the snow that mink will hop along these rocks. So the best place to get them when you know they're gonna be swimming for sure up along the edge is where you got a pretty open run along the wall. Because a lot of times they'll be on those rocks. So I'm gonna put the trap back there. I'll show you the finish set. That's almost as exciting as a big male red fox. Maybe a little bit more, because I've seen a lot of red fox already this year. Just wanted a little side note, I got some of these Cold Creek gauntlets. Um, they're priced right and pretty, pretty good piece of equipment. I don't like the gauntlets with the shoulder strap. So I take them on an awful lot. Um, I just like a long pair of basically rubber gloves and they're a pretty good product. There's the finished set. I don't know, maybe under about an inch or an inch and a half of water. When you're catching these swimming mink, um, you could set your lap trap a little deeper than you would for a more traditional blind set. And as you can see, the pan is a little high. That helps catch them on the downward stroke. I want to give credit to Dom Powell. Um, his video and book and knowing him personally as a friend, um, he gave me the confidence to just set a trap on top of a hard surface. And uh, his theories on catching swimming mink, I think are spot on. Um, I credit him a lot. It's it's by far my favorite mink set, my favorite way to catch mink. Till next time, catch you later. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more from some really expert mink trappers, check out minktrapping.com. I knew last night might be good um, simply because we had some rain and some wind and mink like stormy weather. This is just a little pipe. And I have blind sets on each corner. Got ourselves a small female mink. I don't even have weight here. I just have them wired to the side of the pipe. Just a classic blind set. This is pretty crazy here. I had those one and a half on that exit point of the pipe on that rock and one on that rock. And how the heck we caught two coon without, we must have caught them pretty close at the same time because coon have a habit of uh, stepping in both traps. Huh, kind of nuts. I wasn't really looking for coon today, but we got two here. I got a stack rock set right there. I normally like to put them on the corner, but that's deeper than my hip boots. And I'm not a fan of putting waders on every day. So I just put it there and I see we have a trap down. And over on that corner, that one I can reach with my hip boots. I have stacked rocks and I don't see that trap either. So let's see what we got. Looking like a mink. All right, a big buck. Tell you what, if you don't feel like putting your putting your gauntlets on, I made this hook. You can dig down traps a little bit and uh, it's good for grabbing a chain, retrieving your catch. 
had a cotton mink here at this location last year. This one looks like a good one. All right, we'll get this set remade and then go over and see what we have over there. Maybe a muskrat, but it would rock if it was another mink. Oh, baby. Another floating tail. That was an awesome double. One on that side and one here. I am pumped. This one's filled with, covered with some mud. He must have got caught pretty early, but another big buck. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, we'll get this set remade and have a couple more spots to check. We'll see what we get. Okay, this is my last location I'm checking today. I have dual pipes here. Um, this is the upstream pipe I set the two lower corners. And this is the lower pipe I set the two lower corners. And check this before I got the camera out. But we have a quad on muskrats. One, two, one is there, but it's a glare on the water, and the other one's right there. Those I stack rocks and uh, on the other one I kind of set them on the lip and put a rock there for support. What an awesome day though. I mean, four muskrats at, with four traps at one stop, four mink today, two coon, um, had two rats at other spots. With the exception of that one mink in that uh, classic blind set and then the two coon were at the mouth of a pipe. They were all in stacked rock sets. What a great day, awesome day. Just want to show you these finished remakes. Victor number two square jaw. You see I have pretty good sized base rocks and I use smaller, thinner flat rocks for my adjuster. And there's a Barker's mink pan number two on there. Same deal over there. We just catch them swimming, entering and exiting the pipe. Like I said, this set, um, Dom Powell's really the guy who got me believing in catching these swimming mink. Um, this set's nothing new. I've read about it before. I think I read about it in Mike Marziata's book already. Um, it's 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 not a new it's not a new thing, but. Um, it, it really, it's my favorite mink set, stacking these rocks up. If you subscribe to Trapper's Post, I actually wrote an article about it using a stack rock set for mink. Um, earlier this year, I don't remember the issue, but if you don't get Trapper's Post, you really ought to. It's a, it's a great magazine. Most of the articles are written by real deal trappers, so, uh, and, and the editors are real trappers. They, they know what they're talking about and when they read material that's coming to them they know if the guy is the real deal or blowing smoke so I'll show you them other two real quick this ends this is a rib metal deal it's kind of rusted out it's the same deal each jaw to the pipe on a stack of rocks same thing over there Catching them swimming, entering or exiting the pipe. All right, we gotta go home, get these animals dried off, and I'm gonna go set a couple. Pretty darn good day on the water line. Six rats, four mink, two coon. I'm only running a few spots, not a whole lot of traps. Every day is not gonna look like this. Um, that rain and that, that uh, that came through last night really had to fur move all right until next time tight chains please subscribe please give me a like and uh, have a good one